culprit. The clan of the goat. When it comes to surviving in dangerous conditions and building sturdy settlements, the goat clan has no rival. They will endure and survive no matter what. So you start with sheep and you can build sheep folds. Increase the production of your feast by 20%. Uh, that's nice, so fame bonuses, you get more sheep and you can pull the third sheep fold and 500 you get, uh, that is very crucial, can change the tide of the battle. Uh, you get one free feast and that feast also gives your units plus 20% more resistance when feasting. Uh, the relic, uh, probably useful in free for alls or twelves, but otherwise not really. Uh, can you summon new villagers for food? Yeah, so yeah, let's go. <coughs> so the map is the same, the fisher are now here and the neutrals also exist. Uh, there might be only one thing difference is that there might actually not be any sheep here that they can use which is quite sad but we take this that anyway like you need the lord there is no way around it just give it to me Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have a worse uh, economy than I'm usually used to having with goat. Uh, when you're playing normally, you are guaranteed to have at least like one extra more sheep around you and then the map generates more sheep. But since this is a custom map, it does not have them, even though it is a clan bonus to start with another sheep. Great, so the lore master is going, we have our woodcutter and we have both sheep fold on either the main tile or the next tile that you get. Doesn't matter. How far are you? 91. Should be fine. Question mark. Alright, just go in there. For a second. Hello. Go become woodcutter. Need wood for war camp so I can actually go and clear the surrounding areas. In team games, you're usually not gonna build the war camp, you're gonna have your ally come and clear for you. So you take a clan that can clear for you as your ally. If it can't, then you can do it yourself, just will be slower snowballing from your side. Not gonna use the farm, have sheep fold, have sheep. Could use one foot building, but don't really need to, the sheep are good enough. You can imagine I have um, two farmers working there and I don't have sheep fold. That's how good one sheep is. Okay, sure. Mm, 
Yeah, cat has some food already, one wolf attacked, so there is not going to be another one for quite a little bit. Do you want to take these two ties and... Oh, the stone is... The stone's gone. I'm a big... I didn't put the stone back. It's fine. We just play without stone. Alright. Sure, I messed up. There should be stone here, but I forgot to add it back. Which is nice. Very nice. I mean, I just also don't have like any extra sheep to put in the sheep boat, so yeah, sure. But they're <laughs> fish for stone. Wouldn't you ever take that trade? All right. Let's clear the wolf camp. Maybe should put like stone also here. Yeah, just be like you are. Is this miracle? Hello, Bungie. I know I'm doing making tutorials. So, this is custom map that I put for the tutorial for all the clan to have exactly the same start. Except for Goat has pretty bad start. Usually, you have better with random generation. Maybe. Uh, if you ask why the Warrior has not got an item because it's not card. No, oh, there we go. Now I got it. Coin it, just please. Even though this guy has full HP, he's injured. And I have no ways of um, any wolf attacking me to have the injured guy go fight the wolves, then maybe just let him go. I am gonna go for this style because we need the stone that should be here, but it's not. So, what to do? Alright, got the uh, lore. Uh, the fishermen are great for the first winter. Definitely give you a lot more leeway, to say the least. Could pull the second woodcutter. We'll wait with it. So, at the moment, the uh, game, meta game is about the trading, so we do want to find someone to trade. 
in team game you can trade with your allies so if you need code you just put the uh, trade post down and you already start trading making uh, more body body feeling so that you can get more code later on yeah make a second good color Mm -hmm. I'll also make a house. Alright. Minus three, that's more like it. Okay, so about the lower build there is like no denying here there is just one way and that is coinage and then food trade oh yeah right they did change it a little bit uh, dun, 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 dun. i don't think the uh, scout is gonna die sadly Well, he got the chance out. Good enough for me. You can go and become a lore master. Negative gold income, that's also fine. I have nothing, but uh, so the lore. Mining efficiency, coinage, erudition, food trade, and then you go for weaponsmith, fair goats, or barricades, up to your choice, what you want. Fair goats is probably better, but if you think you're going to get attacked, then barricades is also nice, but then you can't attack in winter, and then feeling safe and legendary heroes. Like, that is your aim, and after that, uh, whatever else you can pick up. Alright, gonna take you guys away. Yeah, not looking that hot at the moment. Oh well. Give me the food trade. Food trade increase your trade routes, crowns income by 50% and sentient tiles with no true food source, so if you put it uh, on the dial that has a fish or a farm or a deer, then you will get more gold from trading. So at the moment if we start trading, then the gold value is going to be 3 to 6. Probably better to trade with um, cobalt, they give it a little bit more. Alright, food trade, and now it is going to be 5 to 6, and that's already very nice. And if uh, ally also was trading me, then it would be 5 to 4, so like a big difference, right? Uh, okay, I don't have any stone to mine, just go woodwork. We can't pull the second sheep for it, just because I don't really have any more sheep. I could save up for a feast. But I guess I can just also wait. Mind iron, get people back, then feast and then pull the forge. Wow. 
there is a lot of waiting in North Card. Not much what I can do. Alright, gonna save up for a feast. Uh, the less you have to toggle people back and forth between buildings, uh, the less uh, economy you lose. You can turn any villager into any kind of uh, unit and all the military units also. But uh, if you are going to convert this guy into military unit, it will take 20 gold and then if you convert her back, then the 20, 20 gold will just vanish into thin air. Alright, get you guys back. Get me that wood. Do a feast. Hey, look at that, more sheep. What I'm gonna do with you? Well, I can build you a sheep vulture. You're still gonna be able to do something. Oh wait, I want to actually build the trading post here. Gonna wait for the feast to be over and then feast one more time. After I get uh, a little bit of economy going and forging going. So yeah, this time lore is going a lot better, not uh, being unhappy yet. I will get unhappy in a second. And then we'll have to just grind our teeth and be like, okay. Do we have anyone there? Nope. Sure, get cheap out, why not? And keep on trading. Alright, I can do another feast for the team, so yeah, sure. I do want to get gold also. I need everything. Alright, just do a feast. Just do a feast. Uh, since normally you're gonna have more sheeps than what I have at the moment. Uh, yeah, sure for goats and you will take the happiness blessing, but since I messed up here and I didn't put the stone on the map, then I have to take your blessing to be able to attack, but you take a happiness blessing here and then you don't get unhappy. Okay, take that. Need upgrade town hall, there we go. There we go, that's also upgraded. 
All right, now I need more. More wood for war camps. There is two there. And they also need more gold. But yeah, in team games, this is already like going to be 7 for 6 with teammates. But with giants, the uh, relationships build up pretty slowly. With kobolds, it would also be like 6 6 already instead of 5 6. Which is sad, but what to do? Uh, I guess I could have also placed an ally that maybe can trade. Hmm. I'm not sure if they uh, will trade, but hey, whatever. That's not the point. Alright, get you down. That is 4, 6, 8, 10. And we don't have enough gold, so. Get on working. Yeah, economy is going to be slowed down. Like this unhappy here, like four people unhappy. You can also think like this is uh, just uh, four people being injured. So yeah, it's quite sad. All right, don't need the scout camp anymore. Destroy it, burn it with fire. With fire. All right, fallen sailors coming on my way. All right, sure. Um, I guess I will have to take the merchants away. Can't otherwise sustain. Wanna have the trades going. But yeah, in team games, since you are gonna have a stone next to you, you will be able to go for the plus blessing, not be unhappy and just keep on growing, getting more people and turning those people into more gold production. Safe. Hey, I have some more economy now. How could that happen? But yeah, imagine if you now had to just build a brewery and uh, you pay for it. Even like this card stone here takes 33 gold per month, so goodbye. Don't need it anymore. In team games, you probably want to just keep it and get legendary heroes or military strategy good to get the damage up all right for more uh, so the way the um, Fallen Sailors work is that if you have any other coastal than your main, then they are gonna attack any other coastal once the event pops up. 
if you haven't colonized anything else and you only had main and then colonized when the event popped up, they will attack your main, but otherwise they will pick a dial that uh, didn't include. Include your main. It's usually good to get like one or two warriors to help you clear them just so you can clear them faster. Do I have any more space anywhere? Not really. Only if I destroy the woodcutter. Straight. You guys are still healing, right? Alright, you guys go in there. I guess I can have one more. Alright, so again, like War Chief, and this time 10 warriors, not 11. But yeah, that is what they're. Yeah, a little bit more damage and weaponsmith. Already a different story when taking down AI. <clears throat> Alright, well, that is going to be the Pe Pega Goat without uh, actually having stone. But since got the addition, then like the. Seventh lore as happiness wasn't too bad, but usually what you want to do is like plan your tree so that you can have your happiness like five, fifth or sixth lore. But yeah, sometimes it's a seventh lore, but uh, I would have gone for the happiness blessing, but I just could not go because no stone. <laughs> we'll fix it right now in the next game. Okay, so I think the next uh, plan is the wolf plan.